Today's storm system is slowly moving out. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for clicking on my weather extra. Most towns are seeing the steady snowfall, tapered snow showers tonight. There's one narrow band of heavier snowfall moving through Sagadahawk County. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that in just one moment. But I suspect by about midnight, 1 in the morning, we're starting to see the snow wind down. In fact, by the time you wake up tomorrow, we'll have clouds to developing sun. Tomorrow will be a brighter day, but a breezy day. Storm system uh, continues to spin north of Cape Cod, moving out into the Gulf of Maine this evening. We're still holding on to a pretty stiff north-northeast wind that's keeping the cold air in place. That coastal front that played games with the seacoast of New Hampshire, even coastal York County this morning, uh, that has moved offshore. So if anything, temperatures continue to cool tonight. There is one little feature. It almost looks like a little uh, inverted trough is trying to shape up right in here. Notice that heavier band of snow moving right through mid-coast Maine, almost into Bath, the Woolwich area, looking at uh, Richmond area perhaps, uh, some heavier bands of snow. That's probably dumping a few inches of snow in a very short period of time. A closer inspection of Doppler HD uh, shows this just a little bit better. It's this little band right in here that extends from northern Casco Bay right through Sagadahawk County. Again, Bath, Woolwich, uh, almost back through Wiscasset perhaps. So uh, still snowing at a pretty good clip. I'm recording this a little bit before 8 o'clock. Uh, this snow will start to move out. In the mountains, you pick up additional light accumulation. So a few towns pick up a few more inches before this is all said and done. The other big story tonight is the wind. How about that? 36 miles per hour for a wind gust in Rockland over the last five minutes, heading into Augusta, 35 miles per hour here in Portland, a straight north wind at about 30 miles per hour. So it is rather blustery out there, which is making for an adventure as far as measuring these snow totals here. Significant blowing and drifting has been occurring during the afternoon hours today. So snowfall totals, again, they're a little bit all over the place uh, this evening, but we'll try our best here. These, this is what's been coming into the uh, News 13 weather office in Portland. Portland, about eight and a half inches of snow on the ground. Brunswick, you have about eight and a half. A lot of these as are as of six o'clock this evening. So I'm recording this again close to eight o'clock. So some towns may have an additional inch or two of snow from what I have here. Six inches in gray, about a half a foot. Lewiston's coming in with about seven inches. I really thought that area would see more than what they have on the ground right now. They'll probably end up around eight for many towns. Carol and Raymond's reporting eight. Got another report from Raymond of nine. Mike and North Sebago, a little surprised at that one too. I really thought that area would get a higher amounts, close to a half a foot of snow on the west side of Sebago Lake. Now, this really was the jackpot. Uh, southern Cumberland County, south of Sebago Lake, uh, a good chunk of York County, heading back through Stratford County uh, in New Hampshire here. Uh, this area picked up a solid 10 to 15 inches of snow. Buxton has 10. Uh, Saco has about 9 inches of snow. Got a report from Scarborough of about 12 inches of snow there. And Gorham, you've got about 10 inches of snow. Uh, again, Kenny Bunk, about 9. Uh, Sean says he went back and forth with some sleet this afternoon. Uh, this was interesting. Dick in South Berwick, he's a great, uh, one of our great weather watchers, and uh, he's a meticulous, uh, is very meticulous as far as measuring snow. So close to eight inches there. But I got another report, actually two separate reports from the Berwick area of about a foot of snow. So these uh, snowfall totals range significantly from one area to the next. Look at Randy and York, right on the coast there, two inches of snow. Not even a lick, not even a snowflake in Portsmouth today. So a uh, wide range in snowfall totals over York County and heading down to southern New Hampshire. Chris in Westport Island has been reporting on and off snow to sleet. Snow to sleet, it's snowing there now. Six and a half inches there. Kathy and Augusta close to seven in Winthrop. Uh, that a few hours old, close to six inches there. Heading back through the mountains, a little bit of a range. Rich in Paris, about eight inches. Mike in Farmington has about seven. Chatham, about seven as well. North Conway, this is a little bit old, about six inches. Got a report from Madison, New Hampshire, of about 11 inches of snow on the ground. So a little bit of a range there. Um, that should say uh, Pinkham Notch. Actually, Wildcats reporting 12 inches of snow. Sunday River, 10. Sugarloaf so far, uh, 10 inches of snow there as well. Now compare that to Rangeley. Got a call from Chris there, about 14 inches. Paula in Andover has 9. That's as of 5 o'clock, so she probably is closer to a foot at this point. Uh, so a little bit of a range. You head back through the mountains. And I think you pick up a few more inches through Friday morning. Uh, in the mountains. So that's why we have this through Friday. Uh, 10 to 15 in that area in white right here. That area I really thought was going to see more from Augusta down through Lewiston back through the northern side of Sebago Lake. Uh, I kept them in the 8 to 12 just because of the fact many areas have about six, seven, eight inches on the ground right now. And you probably end up on the lower end of that, those of you in Lewiston.
in uh, areas in uh, Kennebec County. Uh, but again, there's that nasty band moving through Sagnahawk County right now. There may be a few spots on the upper end of that H of 12. This really was that jackpot from York County south of Sebago Lake uh, about to the coastline here. In fact, I got that report from Scarborough of about 12 inches of snow there. Uh, this extends back to the west. Uh, Waterboro got a report of 11, 12 inches of snow on the ground. And Rochester, New Hampshire is coming in with 14 inches of snow. So that's a solid 10 to 15 in that area. All right, where do we go from here? Well, yes, the snow will start to wind down probably around midnight or so. I expect uh, main, mainly just cloudy skies by the time you wake up tomorrow. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow. Temps starting in the 20s. Look for a developing sun. Should feel nice. It's not going to uh, feel nice as far as the wind goes, though. We'll have gusts probably over 20 miles per hour. High temps tomorrow make it into the lower 30s. Friday night into early Saturday looks to be a, a cold night. In fact, many towns will be dipping into the single digits, thickening clouds again on Saturday. In our next storm system, I don't think it's a direct hit, but it may graze us, bringing some light snow to the area late Saturday and Saturday night. Only a very light accumulations are possible. Again, that's Saturday evening and more so Saturday night. In fact, the sun should make an appearance again on Sunday. Brighter skies return on Friday. Again, 30s for highs as we head into the weekend. Again, a period of light snow late Saturday and Saturday night. We'll watch that for any variation in track, but right now my best estimate is maybe some very light accumulations, an inch or two possible from town to town. Developing sun on Sunday, and as we head into the first few days of 2013, looks like it's going to get cold, with the exception of Tuesday. Uh, notice highs struggling to get out of the teens on Wednesday, and overnight lows approaching the big old goose egg by Wednesday and a Thursday. So some mighty cold air is heading our way. Uh, and it's about time. You know, we finally have a snowpack on the ground. Most towns getting between a half a foot to a foot of new snow today. Again, it's still snowing. I'm recording this around 8 o'clock. I'll have more updates coming up on News 13 at 11 tonight. And Craig will have more updates tomorrow morning as well. Hope everyone has a nice night.